Hello everyone, today I'm going to be giving you a showcase of the Skyblock setup that you can purchase on Built by Bit or Polymar. So you'll start off at the spawn area here with the hologram and two NPCs either side. That being the tutorial and the Discord NPC, which is the same on most setups. You've got three leaderboards either side with top coins, kills, deaths, island value, playtime and balances, along with some NPCs around the back. As you come down past the island manager, there's also four more NPCs down here before you get to the crates. So the tutorial NPC you can click on and it's basically just information for new players and how to get started. And then on the Discord NPC, there's a join the Discord server button where if you click it, you get the link in the chat. And then if you click this link, then you get a code to send to the Discord bot. Once you set up Discord SRV, that will work on your server too. The island manager right in front of the hologram is also here. You can choose an island type here. There's desert island, jungle island or mushroom island. It costs a thousand which you get when you start. I'm going to click the desert island. And here I am on the desert island here. You can see you've got some starter equipment and you can start your sky block on this island here. So heading back to the spawn area, if you then right click the island manager again, you'll see there's a lot more going on here. You've got island home, members, warps, upgrades, missions, boosters, border, bank, missions, invites, you can regen it or delete it. And this is all available with slash IS as well. And then you can teleport to your home, you can view your island warps, you can view your island missions with daily missions. And these change each day so you can see I've got Blacksmith Elite, Fisherman Pro, Blacksmith Light. And then long missions have different parts to them and they progressively get harder and harder over time. You can also purchase island boosters here. So the booster cost here is 10,000 and these will just up certain things in your world for a temporary amount of time. You can change your border color here, so red, green, and blue, or even turn it off. That doesn't mean you can go through it, but it just means that you can't see it. You can view your island bank where you can deposit and withdraw money. This is really useful if you're playing co-op. You can change permissions for visitors, members, moderators, co-owners, and owners, depending on what they're allowed to do. For example, I could make visitors kick users if I really want to. And you can also upgrade your island to allow more players, a bigger size, more warps, make your generator better, get haste on your island and get speed or jump boost. So coming back to the spawn once again, we'll have a look at these NPCs. So first you've got the skills NPC, which basically provides an MMO sort of experience. You've got 15 different categories here and these level up slowly over time, like where you take damage, where you deal damage, whether you mine, you farm. If you click on one of these, you can see the levels and the rewards you can get when you level up to these. I suggest using the test server to have a proper look at all of these because there's a lot to go through. Then moving on to the playtime levels, we've got two pages here that go up to level 42. That's 404 hours of playtime. And each of the rewards here are mob coins, money, coins and XP, depending on which one you redeem. The coin shop is a great way to monetize your server. So here you've got 10 categories, player tags, crate keys, chat colors, server ranks, particles, perks, cell wands, glows, pets, and emotes. And with each of these, you can go in and buy them with coins and then also go back to the main menu here. Again, I would check out the test server if you want to get a full look at how these work. You can buy them. And then with most of these, you can do slash cosmetics. And this will take you to the cosmetics menu where you can apply them. There's also a cosmetics NPC here that does the same thing. If you go into each of these, you can apply them. I've got ops, so I've got access to them all anyway, but you can have a closer look when you use a test server. There's mob coins here. Mob coins you can spend on coins itself, in-game money, or you can buy some blocks to make your island value higher. When you kill a hostile mob, you have a chance of receiving mob coins, and then you can spend them in this menu here, and you can see the drop rates here. And then next to this NPC, you've got the main shop, and this is where you can buy and sell stuff. So this is quite fully fledged out with loads of different items. You can buy or sell things here. This is useful for the cobblestone generator. You can smelt your ores and sell them here to make money. You can buy mob spawners and then sell the loot in the mob drops. There's also the AFK pool just behind the spawn. This is where players can go to sit in AFK. And then as they do, they get five coins for every 15 minutes. If you click on the NPC here, it says here you receive five coins for every 15 minutes in the AFK pool and then this also teleports you there. And you can also get here by doing slash AFK and you'll be teleported in front. Another little small thing to mention is in this building here, there is a parkour NPC with a parkour leaderboard. If you right click on him, then you'll be able to do the parkour at spawn. And then if we work our way down from spawn, we've got four more NPCs, which are very brief. There's just the ranks which show you which ranks have access to what perks. And if you click this, it goes to the coin shop. 
The kits NPC is an easier way of claiming kits so you can see what requirement you need and the rating of the kit. The daily rewards NPC allows you to get daily rewards of coins. Depending on your rank, you'll get more coins per day. As I'm up, I will get the full ranks here, but a member would normally only get three. And then the jobs NPC is where you can select a job between five. And then once you click it, you get employed and then you'll earn money based on what that job is. So if I wanted to, to be the hunter, for example, then I'd earn money from killing mobs. I currently have the hunter job selected and you'll just earn passive income as you kill mobs. So this is a great thing to change depending on what you're doing. So moving on to the crates, you have the key trader and the crate key shop just in front of them. This links to the crate key area in the coin shop. You can also go back to the coin shop from here. It's just an easy way to buy keys if players are up here already. And then the key trader here is useful for trading keys up. So here I can buy a prime key with vote keys. So for example, free vote keys, if I click here, then I can trade them in for a prime key. But if I click again, you'll see it won't work. So you can left click each crate to preview the items in them. They've also got their chances there that keeps you completely EULA compliant from the Minecraft guidelines because that is required. And then if you right click a crate with your key, it will open it and you'll get a random item from it. So I can do that right now and get my item for each key. Also, if you do slash warps, it brings up a little warp menu where you can warp to the crates and that just warps you right in front of here. There's also the AFK pit that warps you right in front of the AFK pit and also the arena warp, which will warp you to the arena. So the arena is a pretty huge map where players can go to fight each other out. Players can spawn up here and use the jump pad to jump off and into the arena quickly. And you'll notice there's a king of the hill down here as well, where the reward is one prime crate key. If you do slash K-O-T-H command, then you'll see information here, along with when the next one is, and also where it is if players don't know. So in one hour, this will be the king of the hill, and it will show the time left and the current king when it's actually on. And that's about it. If you have any questions, please join the Discord server with the link that is on the resource page, or there is a link down in the description. You can use the purchase questions channel to ask us anything you want to know before you buy the resource. Once you do purchase the resource, you'll be able to verify your purchase to the access to support forum. And then you can ask us any questions or any issues you have there and we can help you out. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to use a test server so that you can get a grasp of the product before you buy it. Make sure to subscribe and like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.